Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a basket, just like this. You can use almost any fabric you'd like. These are some other baskets I've made over the years. T-shirt material, or jersey, is a great fabric to work with because of its stretch. And it doesn't fray when you cut it. Baskets made from polar fleece hold their shape very well. You can make baskets of any size. This one I made from several old king-size bed sheets. Let's get started. You will need a rotary cutter, a large crochet hook, a stitch marker, a pair of scissors, and something to cut on. We will be making our yarn out of several old t-shirts. Cut the fabric into one and a half to two inch wide strips. Cutting up all the fabric can be tedious, which is why a rotary cutter comes in handy. Now it's time to connect the strips to make a long string of yarn. By connecting the strips with this method, you avoid bulky knots. Now it's time to start crocheting the center circle. This part is probably the most challenging of the entire basket, so don't get discouraged if it takes you a few tries. Just hit rewind and follow along again. Now crochet six stitches in this loop. To close the hole in the center of the circle, pull on the loose tail. To make the second circle bigger than the first, crochet two stitches in each of the six stitches from your first circle. You'll stitch 12 crochets in total. Notice that I'm pushing my crochet hook through the same hole twice to make a double stitch. This is what it will look like when you finish the 12 stitches. For the third circle, we're going to alternate between a double stitch and a single stitch. Start with a double stitch by crocheting two stitches into the same hole. Notice I use a safety pin as a stitch marker so I know where one circle begins and ends. Then crochet one single stitch. Continue this pattern all the way around. And this is what it will look like after you complete the third circle. For the fourth circle, crochet two single stitches, then one double stitch. Continue this pattern all the way around, and you should end up with something like this. For the fifth circle, crochet three single stitches, then one double stitch. Continue this pattern all the way around and your base is done. If you'd like to make a larger basket, continue making larger rings by following the same pattern of adding more single stitches between your double stitches. If, however, your basket is as big as you want it, you can stop counting and just stitch single crochets all the way around and watch the sides of your basket grow taller.
When you are crocheting your last circle, you can stitch handles with four single crochets. When your basket is as tall as you want it, secure your loose ends.